Alrighty, what's going on guys? We are in my room right now, as you guys can see. It is quite dark, we've got one light going. We've got Tommy Dang over here, and we also got hooked up by Eagle, as you guys can see right here. I've got sent, I think, five pairs of wheels. No, yeah, five pairs of wheels. So we've got three different kinds of compounds right here. So this one is, what does this one say? I can't even read it. Oh, it's upside down, that's why. This one is a soft uh, urethane, so I'm gonna go with this one. I wanna try this one out right now. I like the soft urethane feel better, but I've got a soft, medium, and a hard. Uh, so four different kinds of radix wheels and then a normal kind of original, what are they called again? Hollow core, that's Holocores. right. Hollow cores. The first ever eagle wheels I had were the skeletons, they were really cool, and I even had the spermies. Tommy, what did you have? The Cody's. The Cody's, that were your first eagle wheels? Yep. And if you guys don't remember the Cody wheels, the full cores, that was sick, they were really, really cool. I have a pair of glow in the dark Cody's and a pair of Hepgreg 125's in my car that I'll probably also show you in this video since I am doing a little eagle video right here, and I also got sent. Two pairs of forks, and also have a little sneak peek for you guys right here. My new figs right there, you guys can do whatever you want with that. That's not supposed to be released, but you know what, Chris? You can, you, there's nothing you can do about it. So the plans for today are we're going to meet up with Sean Williams, go to Noble Park Skate Park, which is pretty typical. I like Noble, it's got a lot of options, it's got bowls, it's got some fly out. You can do some hips, you can ride a lot of rails, ledges, all that kind of stuff. So it is pretty fun, has a lot of variety and there is other parks around there also. So we're going to go Noble, meet up with him and I'm also going to do like a little review on the wheels right here. I am running the carbon fiber fender that Brandon Kilby gave to me. I haven't actually filmed on it yet. The only problem is because these wheels are 115 mil, again, it's not gonna work. I am running 110 millimeter wheels on my scooter right now. We'll go outside in a second, I'll show you, but I wanted to show you this stuff real quick before I put it on my scooter. I'll show you what I'm rocking on my scoot right now. So this is what we're dealing with right now. I've got my attic grips on here that I ripped pretty much the day I got them, so I'm sticky taping off, sticky tape them there. With my signature bars from Drone, I've actually got, finally got a pair of these. I've only had one pair, which is the prototype pair. Now I have four pairs of them, and I'm just so grateful to have the signature, bar, signature bars. I've got two oversized, two standard. I might do a giveaway with one pair, but they are so sick. They come 24 wide by 28 high. You guys definitely should get yourself a pair of these titanium bars. Beautiful, beautiful things. We've got the Tilt standard SES, because I am running standard bars right now. I didn't have an oversized SES, well I did. It was just kind of kind of worn out so this is what i'm rocking right now i've got the tilt scs let me just change this focus real quick i've got the ao diamond fork right here with the ao quadrant wheels as well 110 millimeter wheels they're nice i only rode these once same with the diamond fork I only rode it for a little bit and of course i've got the Art six wide with the uh, syndicate stickers on the bottom covering the holes up so it doesn't want to peel through on the grip tape quite as easy which end up doing but it doesn't matter i actually poked a hole right through the center as you guys can see right there that's the carbon fiber brake right there, it's not in focus. I'm doing this with one hand right now and I've got the quadrant wheel on the back, like I said before. Everything on this scooter is brand new, except the tilt clamp, which is, you know, I've only technically rode it maybe two times. Um, and the grips are a little bit old as well, but man, this thing feels awesome. I can't wait to chuck these Eagle wheels and forks on it to see what it's like. Tommy, you keen? I'm very keen. Because I'm keen. What's up, man? What are you doing? What's up, gangster? Oh, you know, just put me a scooter together. Everything's looking good. The only problem is, I hate running spacers. <laughs> the reason I have to run a spacer is because the district head tube is longer, so the forks are obviously designed for a district. They still work with every scooter, but you'd have to run a spacer. So I'm running two uh, dust caps here and then a big spacer that actually comes with a fork, which is super convenient. So shout to Eagle and uh, District, or actually Eagle, I should say, for that one because it is very convenient. It made my life a little bit easier, but it does look a little bit uglier. So in result, I had to cut my bars down. So Cutting tie, not very, very easy. It was pretty easy with a hacksaw, but it wasn't very straight. So I had to spend the last 10 minutes trying to file it down. The only problem is, I need to straighten my stuff up, straighten up my SCS, and then we can go for a ride. Like I said, we'll meet up with Sean Williams. We're gonna, gonna go down to Noble Skate Park, yep. which I'm looking forward to. I'm pretty sure Tommy's looking forward to it too. Yeah, man, it's a beautiful day. Look at that. What do you reckon? I reckon that looks absolutely beautiful. Them 115s are so sick. The thing I like about the 115s over here, is uh, this little inner core right here. It's gonna rub against the ledges when you do 50s, so it's not gonna grip on the actual PU, which is another good thing. But I'm gonna get this tightened up. I'm gonna get a coffee, go to 7-Eleven. I think Tommy's down for that one as well. See you at Noble. We are at Noble Park getting stuff out the car. I forgot to show you these bad boys. Look at these. Oh, sorry. Oh, look at this. It's got, me. got my FP insoles in here. Don't need them anymore though. Shout out to the boy, Hep Greg. Hep, you probably don't watch these videos, so it doesn't really matter. Anyways. These are all dirty, but these, let me give them a blow. They're brand new Cody wheels. Let me just try and focus this right here. Look at them, Cody wheels and the Hep Gregs. They look so sick. These, man, glow in the dark, Beautiful. purples. Oh, every kid's dream back in the day. Yeah. Every kid's dream. Hey, 
What's up? Hi, man. What are you doing here? Oh, fancy Pleasure to see, to see you. you. Yeah, nice to meet you. I'm shaking your hand. Thanks, man. I'm just, um... Doing work? Ah, oh, man. I just... In my spare time, I like to pick up rude industry parts and just take photos of them. Just for, um, I don't post them anywhere. No, no. I just keep them just keep myself. Them. Yeah. Safe storage, guys. Safe storage. But uh, we're going to get some clips real quick go. because you know what? It's getting late. Not really, but I have things to do today and I can't be messing around. So, Tommy, you want to front lit the pocket for me? Mm -hmm. Let's see it. Let me get this focus going. Oh, Tommy, dang. Oh, you didn't get the downward to Manny though. Yeet. Oh, dang. Yeet. How sick are these wheels though, man? I've already, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but I've pretty much take, like, took, let me get this focus going right here. Look at that, the graphics pretty much already gone from doing 50s already. But that's all right. Who needs graphics anyways? Not me. Now, I'm a huge fan of softer wheels. I'm really digging these ones so far. I can carve really, really, like, really aggressively and it has a lot of grip. But the only problem is, because I am riding a six wide, I can't carve as much as I would on say a five wide because the corners will bite. So I haven't like reached the limits yet. I'm still trying to work out how much I can actually turn the scooter because it is quite scary. As you guys did see in Maddie's vlog a while ago, we're at Riverside. He turned too sharp on my scooter and actually hit the ground and he ended up crashing. But uh, we haven't done that yet. Hopefully we, don't, hopefully we won't do it today. You know what? We're gonna break out the GoPro today. It's been a while since I've used the GoPro. Plus I'm gonna carve this little this terrible snake run here. It's pretty fun, but pretty limited to, to what hips you can hit to, depending on the direction so it's fun but it's not fun but we're gonna put the GoPro on film some flat bar clips some rail clips some ball clips whatever we can let's get it So we're done with the GoPro now. We've got the boys over here. They're doing something pretty cool. Doing, I don't know if it's a worldie though. I, think, I feel like I've seen it before. They're doing a decade with a tuck hander in it. So that there's no arms or legs on the scooter except some knees holding onto the bars. That's it. I've seen Sean do it. I haven't seen Tommy land it yet. So Tommy. You got ready? Let's, let's see it. Oh, nearly first tee, the crosswalk. Let me just switch angles real quick. Sean, have you got a first tee? Oh, that is a really cool looking oh. trick. You gonna back him up, Tommy? Oh, I suck. Yeah, you do suck. Let's see it though. Is that it? Was that it? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna have to Funny look back on that. 
Toe drag or heel drag? I mean toe drag. That's all right. I, I've seen you. I've seen you get close. I've seen Sean land it at least. Every shot, yeah. Couple of tries. He landed it pretty much every try. Sean, call me. Three tricks to do. I want you to do front side 360 heel whip. Yep. Front side 360 bar twist. Yes. And a flip tuck. <laughs> no, I can't do tuck. Oh, I'll do like uh, something else. Uh, back flip 180 to fake just in a, a line? Yeah, yeah. In a line. To prove it's in a line, no cuts. He's going back in it yeah, boy. Oh. Front three here, was it? Yep. Oh. Turn around. Sandy. Try, try not to push either. Three bar twist, yeah? Yep. Oh, and he's bloody done it. My hand went in my pocket. Oh, that trick's kind of weird. And a flare, a fake, yeah. yeah. And he stuffed it. All right, Tommy. Whoa! G'day, Sean. Back up from Tommy. First tee, Tommy. First tee. That's pretty exciting. I normally like hop out straight away. Let's uh, try and we'll try to do a flat fakie and we'll see if we can go around the ball. Which probably won't happen, but we'll see. We're gonna have not enough speed. Can I pump going backwards? Do you no. want me to push up? Oh. No, the other way. Hey, lands it! We're at least gonna get around the ball. Oh my god! Well, I'm gonna have to count that one because I cannot be bothered doing some flyout tricks right now, but whew, tricks Tommy's much, yeah. about to back it up! Tommy! Back it up! You're an idiot! This is a fish eye! <laughs> Didn't see it! So, these eagle wheels are absolutely beautiful. They are 115mm by 30mm wide. I am a huge, huge fan of 30mm wide. I think it is much better than 24 or 26. You just have a lot more grip, uh, a lot more surface area touching it at one time, which is really, really cool, and you can carve a lot harder. I do feel like they are a little bit faster as well. As you guys can see, I've scratched off the logos from 50s. These are the softer PU, so they are really, really spongy, really, really grippy. I'm absolutely loving these. And the Eagle Forks are beautiful. You guys can run these wheels with your scooter. The only problem is you need to get a new fork. Uh, say if you have like one of these decks, if you have a bone deck, all you need to do is knock the spaces out and make your own little ones. I've made my own little spaces here. Well, actually, they're out of my old native deck. And I just got the inner bearing from like inside of a bearing, like the inner spacer thing, and just trimmed it down so it was able to fit inside there. But if you guys do want to run these on your scooter, you will have to get a new pair of forks. I've got the Eagle forks here. You guys already know that from the start of the video. But you can run forks like native. You can run, what else? I don't know. I actually don't even know right now. So, sorry guys. Just, I know you can run the native because I was running the native ones. Uh, the best thing about these Eagle forks as well is they do, they are compatible with pretty much every size wheel except 12 mil standard. So it does come with a little conversion kit so you can ride 20, uh, 24 mil wide wheels as well. Because the 30 mil wide wheels are thicker, you will need a wider fork. So these are very, very nice. 115 I think is the way to go. I do like 110s. 120 feels a little bit awkward for me. I've always been a bit iffy with 120s, 115s. Oof, they are the shit. But, man, I'm pretty done right here. These wheels are absolutely awesome. Huge shout out to Eagle for sending these out to me. Really, really Hello. grateful for that. But if you guys did enjoy this video, give it a like, comment, subscribe. Do that kind of good stuff. I'll see you in the next video, which should be maybe tomorrow because I feel like riding and it's been actually good weather. Like, look outside. Look, beautiful blue skies for a winter day.
But that's going to do it, guys. Peace.